Hello everyone, I'm Darth Browner and welcome to my Hato for Boyfriend Holiday Star playthrough. This is the last part, we're going to tackle the rest of the Christmas and such like. Now, before I carry on and hand over to Matilda, um, I hope you guys have all had a fantastic Christmas thus far. Happy Boxing Day for today and um, without further ado, over to you Matilda, who's admiring Sequoia's Christmas tree. Sequoia's Christmas tree for display in just a few minutes. Staff birds walk busily about the mansion in the centre of the Grand Salon. That must be the tree. Such a vast presence, even in a room this large. It certainly would be difficult to carry it away by hand. There appears to be quite a crowd gathering outside already. Apparently there are plain of security officers scattered throughout the line. There are, of course, a great number of security personnel within the mansion as well. Have no worry, have no fear, the classy, reliable gold guard is here. Ah, oh, the gold guard! Stern when necessary, an iron hand, master of velvet glove. I feel safe already. Your house is really huge, Sequoia. Isn't it tough to clean? I cannot comprehend your question. Why should I worry over certain things when I have such servants? You didn't even know how to use a mop until just recently, after all. That, that sort of foolery is for commoners. It has nothing to do with a noble such as myself. Oh, what a waste. You have the makers of a domestic genius, Sequoia. Yeah. You were way more help at the end of year cleanup than any of us expected. Uh. Sequoia appears troubled. No doubt I'm sure if you should take that as a praise or as an insult. In any case, I have deigned to reveal my magnificent Christmas tree before the eyes of beggars and plebs. Are you sure the thieves will come? I think that depends on them. Yuya did a good job of getting the word out. I think we can safely say they know about it. I have deployed elite bodyguards in the employ of the LaBelle family throughout the entire area. The thieves will be captured within two seconds of arrival. Master Sequoia. What is it, Albert? A letter has arrived, sir. Here it is, sir. Hmm. <laughs> what does it say, Sequoia? They've got guts. It is a letter announcing their nefarious intent. It says they're coming. May I see? Sequoia hands the letter to Ryuta. It says... We want the big tree. Merry Christmas. This, I guess, is a letter of intent. An awfully cute one. It might almost be a Christmas card or a letter to Santa. They want the tree and expect us to hand it over. If they want it, they can come and claim it. Merry Christmas, they say they won't give it to us. Merry Christmas, they say if we want it, we should come and take it. Sequoia, behind you! Merry Christmas, it's time for Plan B! There! It's them, Sequoia, the Christmas thieves! What? what? After they've seized them! Have you not also eyes you can to go? How did they get in this far? Were they hoping to get the tree just by asking nicely? It's no good, Sequoia. I tried my best to catch them too, but they got away! I've received no word from the security teams either. It would appear that they have escaped. What a dreadful waste of an opportunity. They said something about Plan B before they left, right? I don't think they've given up yet. We'd better stay on guard. Thieves haven't either. Almost me. I didn't go in the room. 
miss. That side. Kittens from all teams I want support. The Northwest sector. God, when should I write? They put it to a bit of a crackle fair. That is not a secret to neutralize in a matter of seconds. A report from the security forces were neutralized in seconds. You see, this is what happens to those who stand against the LaBelle family. <laughs> Sakaya, wait, that's not what he said. Uh, not half. For what? Indeed, sir. This noise, something's coming. Look at that. What the fl flippity flip? It's the Christmas thieves in a tank. Wow! <laughs> we seen it in the tree. What do we do? It's headed right to wall. What live ammunition? Stop, stop! What sort of demons would damage my beautiful mansion? There are still birds inside. I'll go get them out of there. They blew up the council room without a second thought. At this rate, your house is going to end up like, looking like mine. I cannot have that. We need to stop them. What can I do? I need to stop the thieves' tank. Brilliant options. Was it mailbox? Oh, you said sort of weapon. That that will work. Forgive me, Japanese post hold his company limited. But the point I'm probably later. Take this. I'm usually heavy post box stuff with birthday after some New Year's Eve and Christmas greeting cards. Brilliant! <laughs> nothing. It did nothing at all. I'm sorry, Sequoia. I've never tried to hunt an animal made of metal before. So I don't know where its weak points are. Too much for it. Nothing a bird or a human can do to that thing. Hoping to have things cleared. Have you walked between ladies room right now? Don't let a thing on. I'll let her. She is my underling. Since when? 
a lady never likes a man who tries to monopolize her sequoia. Don't bend my words. I had no such thing in mind. <laughs> Are you sure? Anyway, it's time to end this. As you, mysterious thieving duo. It stopped. Nice job, Yoya. You're acting straight at causal ones. Why, thank you, Monami. I am honoured by your words. Merry Christmas, connect this with this. Merry Christmas, stick that there. Merry Christmas, we fixed it, we fixed it, yay! It's not dead yet? Oh dear, I thought I'd immobilised it. Have you no other plan, Kerr? I have not prepared any more ordnance, no. It seems I have met my match. Forget preparations! What a super student like you really get up this easily! I'm not yet done, Monami. That said, those two possess an unusual degree of... Matilda, look out! Eek! Matilda, are you hurt? I'm fine, fine. You wait, wait, your tail, your tail is burnt! It smells delicious! All that matters is that you're safe. A little burn like this is just another medal of bravery. Sakazaki, you fool! Don't go raising flags here! Come on, we'll withdraw! You seem to be having difficulties, yeah? Who'd have expected him to show up here? Dr. Iwamine! Why are you here? I took the, the liberty of examining the council room this morning. And I find this case rather interesting. I could help you out, if you like. Of course, if you sure don't need my assistance, I will leave, yeah? I do have other things to be doing after all. I can't really see his face in the darkness, but he sounds even more uninterested than usual. If, if you have some way of stopping these thieves, please help us. I just hope to take them alive, but at this point I won't object if you decide to obliterate them entirely. Squire, no! They're doing bad things, but I could never live for myself if you let you kill some- There was no great explosion. A tear grass got right. Huh? The tank swayed in some sort of gas? What? Doctor, we must withdraw. We'll be affected too. We won't be able to secure the thieves. Can you stand? You we need to get. The gas is spread throughout the entire area. We need to get back to the mansion and set up. Guards with gas masks! Gas has no effect on us anyway. Well, uh, <laughs> the tank opens and the two white creatures stagger out. Oh, they look terrible. Finding an allergen specific to them felt quite simple. I found plenty of samples to work with in the council room after all. They are currently experiencing symptoms similar to those exhibited by people suffering from pollen allergies. The allergen in this case is soybean flour. Mr. Sakazaki had already created a number of holes in the body of the tank, so it diffused in quite beautifully, and I am pleased to see it worked. 
How kind of you to give me some credit for my miserable failure. I didn't expect that from you. You're an exemplary teacher. Danke, Mr. Hedgehog's Kazaki. Certainly. Sir, how did you make up uh, the unidentified creature? Look, he said the baboo. Success. Shouldn't he be happy? Wait, they're ours now. Tie them up. Your oh, freezing midnight wall came to an end of sorts. Except your fates, Christmas fees. We've nowhere left. Now identify yourselves. Merry Christmas! You won't get to go home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? Me Kaku! Merry Christmas! Miro and Kaku, that's all. Why did you two do all this? Quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas. As far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist, commercialised rubbish. But there are plenty of birds who really care about it. It's not nice to ruin their fun. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Christmas is all Miru and Kaku have! Merry Christmas! Christmas thing ran into Miru and Kaku's very instincts! They told Miru and Kaku they were never meant to be born. No one was to give them life. But they were born on Christmas Eve. Because they weren't meant to be born, they had to be removed. So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. Miru and Kaku aren't real. Miru and Kaku are alive, but Miru and Kaku are different. So Miru and Kaku can be put aside. But Miru and Kaku can stay. So Miru and Kaku are going to be burned. So Miru and Kaku said goodbye. Miru and Kaku said goodbye to their home. I thought they looked more like some sort of strange mammals than like bears, but I never would have guessed they had a backstory like that. It's too cruel, Doctor, to create pitiful. Hybrid beings in your mad scientist experiments and tried to kill them. Maybe you felt your creation violated the laws of nature. But artificial creatures still alive just like us. They have the right to. Please do not misunderstand. I am not responsible for their creation. What? He's not? I thought I was being clever, but I think I made a terrible mistake. Merry Christmas. Mira and Kaku's daddy was a merry daddy. He liked parties. Merry, merry Christmas. Daddy celebrated throughout December, especially Christmas. They look excited to the point again. Their memories mixed up. It is a story from long ago. An accident in a certain lab caused the birth of two hybrid life forms. None of that research has had expected their creation. At first, the new life forms would hold hope to create great scientific value, but they soon proved to be almost identical to existing birds. Once the investigation was complete, they were to be disposed of, but there was one researcher who had a responsibility. The researcher was charged with taking care of them. May I ask what you intend to do with them? Do you need to ask? They will be tried in the court of law, naturally. But there are not identified creatures! Should that be objection? They may have done some bad things, but nobody pun was badly injured. The worst was you yes burn. We can't just kill them. I have a proposal, Herr Shirogane. Yes, Doctor Iwamine. Shall I take them? What? We can't secure. Give you to is sending them to a fate worse than death. But how you look at it? Please do not be so agitated. I have no intention of harming them just yet. In other words, you probably will later. If you are willing to take them in, sir, I have no objections. Be respectful towards Dr. Iomini, you two rapscallions. Merry Christmas! And make sure you 
to tell us what you heard, Mr. Uchihara's Christmas tree, okay? Merry Christmas! And so, with the help of Dr. Iwamine and Yuya, we captured the Christmas trees of Piru and Kaku. No one need fear for their decorations again. But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Not even have asked something. That would be one that. Maybe it's his idea of a Christmas present. Oh, free already? That's way too late. We got to get them to tell us what to do. So I should go home to eat and sleep. Miru Kaku, you still have your caretaker rings from the lab, yes? Merry Christmas, caretaker, caretaker, look! Let me see. You. Ah, uh, you never did leave anything behind but trouble. Mr. Ushihara, we got your Christmas tree, but. Oh, ma, oh, ma, thank you! It really is calming to look at, isn't it? I'm so glad yours is intact. Sequoia was completely incinerated. At least the big tree Sequoia had at home was saved. I guess that's some sort of consolation. And that's the event to end of the investigation. I'm looking forward to working here over the break. But of course, I'm pleased to have you. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I got the rest of the trees back to their owners and now I'm feeling cheerful. Christmas only comes once a year. I want to spend having fun with everybody. Winter break starts tomorrow too. I'm excited just thinking about it. I'm to Miru and Kaku anyway. Did the doctor take them to his house? That seems pretty cute. Dot you mean they living with his seasonal mascot characters? No, it's too surreal. I can't imagine it. I do wonder though. I think I'll ask the doctor before break starts. Excuse me. The infirmary is transformed. Sir, what happened? Are you actually even more enthusiastic about Christmas and Sequoia? <laughs> <laughs> I have no fondness for supposition. Or have I not mentioned before? The doctor is transformed too. Maybe it's protective camouflage. Sir, what happened to you? Don't tell me you finally got that lobotomy. They always gave me another as soon as I've taken it off. It is easier to work if I have it if I leave it on. They, Sir so Kakua. Merry Christmas! So here, you're keeping them in here, sir. Yeah, they would only get in the way at mine house. Not that they don't get in the way here. Grim here as usual. He seems to be putting up with them so far, but he hardly looks happy about it. I wouldn't count on their heads to attached for much longer. They should calm down over new after the new year. They are mostly excited by Christmas after all. You don't think you're pushing yourself too hard, sir? What do you mean? Maybe I'm imagining it, but you don't look quite like you mean it, sir. It's your imagination. It's tiring to have them in here all the time. Plus, I should make a hutch for them outside. Does it look like he's using them for research? What is he thinking? He's treating them awfully nicely, though. Never seen him out like that. Nice, maybe likes cute animals. I'm going home now, Doctor. Thank you for everything this year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Danke. Merry Christmas! And that's the end of that one. This has been Darth Browner. Thank you ever so much for watching that special Christmas um, episode. Um, if you want to watch more videos like this and various other series I've covered on my channel, then don't forget to hit that mighty fine subscribe button. And... Uh, Ciao for now.